it's Farm Girl, and I've got Exo Man here with me, and the fabulous Brandon Beecham from the Positive Head Podcast, which I know that you've heard me mention a few times, and uh, you all ask, what's your secret to you know being happy and staying young at heart? And Brandon has a lot to do with that. I mean, Aww. we we've always kind of been into the positive, you know, reading it's, readings and it's sharing your life experience with positive influences, positive yes. people, and you gravitate to them. And right, you kind of drew this guy into our yes. lives. You did right into yes. the spider web. We got so <laughs> lucky. He, I just happened to email him. We got a wild hair and decided to come to LA, like three days later and you're so kind to answer my email and let us come and invade your home you know thank you. I'm I'm so happy to have you both here and I'm just really glad that I actually because I get a lot of emails and I just happened a couple days ago okay to, to kind of go through every few weeks I'll spend a few hours and like okay let me go through and look and answer and things like that yeah then I saw yours and you're like I'm in your town and yeah. I'd love to stop yeah. by and yeah. you know um, yeah I just absolutely love what you guys do and the fact that it's just it's you being you it's simple and you know when I first went to look at your page I'm like okay what you know what's it gonna be like is what it gonna the be heck like are they doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah what the heck are they doing and I'm like this is just like simple and them and that's what people resonate with is is you know so many times people work hard at trying to be like something else right and when you realize that you are the you know when we you are your own unique yeah individual. when we started doing it i was like what people want to watch this? they want to watch me feed the chickens i mean it was just like started out really on the farm with when like when we were in the Los <laughs> Angeles area, I was an actor, and I was oh, wow. in that business of portraying something that you're not. Right. Yeah. And then, so we've come. And I've circle. always said, we've come all the way. Yeah. Around to where we're portraying who we really are. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I've always said, I don't do script. <laughs> I'm yeah, not yeah, doing yeah, script. Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, we have these characters that we do, and we, he writes a little. Yeah, I mean, it's and like, fun, oh, and, and, and in the right setting and right place, there's a time and place for acting too. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I um, do enjoy this. But stuff. we don't do it. Well, I don't do it. He doesn't. <laughs> But to get back to your question, uh, I think you asked a question, uh, or comment about, you know, um, being positive. And of course, you know, my show is the Positive Head Podcast. Um, for me, it's, it's truly a labor of love to just help people to shift their perspectives mm -hmm. to understanding sort of who and what they are, what, what I refer to as the ultimate nature of reality. And right. once a person sort of opens that, um, genie bottle if you will it's hard to put the the, the cap back on and you don't exactly, want to exactly it, it really is it's, it's just it's, like when you become aware when you're a little kid and you're like whoa mm -hmm. it's in my hand yeah so right. for like, some people this is a catharsis that can happen any time in yeah. their lives oh yeah oh yeah i mean i see people who they go from one you know one month they have lived you know let's say up to a certain point in their life they've kind of looked at life through the same lens and all of a sudden something will happen where they'll have like a spiritual experience or something really powerful or a perspective shifting event happen. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it goes from this yeah. to this. Yep. And that's, I mean, I've done a lot of really fun things in my life. I've had a wonderful, wonderful journey thus far, but nothing has been more rewarding to me than being able to help sort of, you know, to, to be the catalyst to, to push people. I love how you do that. To, like, you'll take questions. Um, if you go to his website or email him or go on the Facebook group, he will take questions that you have and really delve deep into it and really try and help people understand how they can help themselves and maybe work through problems and it, it, it Once you understand one key, well, couple key things one is what what I talk about uh, when I say the ultimate nature of reality of course is that the idea that the consciousness that animates my form is the consciousness that animates your form mm -hmm. the separation between us is illusory and I know that's kind of out there for a lot of people to sort I of totally play. And, no, and, I and, and I say and I get that and mm -hmm. a lot of people haven't even ever considered that idea right and I say just play with it and see for yourself because mm -hmm. really at the end of the day we can hear all kinds of ideas about things but you know what rings true for us and what does our experience 
show. And once you start playing with the idea that all is literally one, mm -hmm. and you start acting as if um, what I do to you, I'm doing to, to an yourself. extension of self, mm -hmm. because there's only one of us in the room, mm -hmm. and like I said, the separation is an illusion, everything changes. Mm -hmm. And it is, uh, you start going from this idea of, uh, you know, me so much to we. And you start yes. realizing, you know, as Gandhi said, if you want to find yourself, lose yourself in the service of others. Yeah. And I say the reason that holds true is because there are no others. And then you start living from the understanding that, hold on, there's something, this is all actually happening for me, not to me. That's the next thing. Right. It's like, oh, okay, that's a complete game changer. I hope we can get that message across. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, yeah. This is not actually happening to me, but for me. Mm -hmm. And through, through And me. through me, yes. Yeah. It's all a reflection of self. The universe is a feedback loop. And it's all extensions of you showing up. You're an extension of my consciousness. I'm an extension of yours. Out of 7 billion people on the planet, we happen to be resonating closely, closely enough vibrationally that you're here in this moment and we're right. sharing this experience together. Nikola Tesla, one of the smartest men who ever, arguably the smartest man who ever lived, but way ahead of his time, said if you want to understand the, the universe and reality, think in terms of frequency and vibration. And the thing is, is it's all vibration. It's what, all attracting what's and repelling. Right. What's making me up? The particles that make me up, they're actually not solid at all. They're 99.999999999% space. What we call solid is really vibrations of energy, like emanations that are popping in and out of existence so fast. We don't know where they're coming from or where they're going to, but they're intelligent and organized when they show up here. And when you start understanding, hold on, this is like... It's literally a flickering screen, everything you see. Just like on a, a movie screen, it's a bunch of pictures put together really right, quickly. Right. That's what you are. It's all a light show. And when you start playing with this idea, and I know I'm going deep down the rabbit hole, but I kind of <laughs> do that. And you, you were warned. No, no. You were warned. So you were warned. You were warned. You're so good at expressing it. Like, I, I would, at some point, I will be able to do that. <laughs> I'm working on it. You know, if yeah. it, it, I would go so far as to say, you and I wouldn't be sitting here. If that's a desire that you have, I'm showing up as a reflection of an extension of you that yes. is carrying that certain, that certain frequency, that certain, you know, uh, consciousness. And so, yeah, absolutely. You're doing it right now. You're attracting me into your yeah. world uh, as a reflection of that. So anything, a lot of times people will see other people and think, oh, I don't have that or I'm not as good as that. Yeah. And, and what they're doing is, but they don't understand because you're one with the source that creates and animates all things. It is literally all one. Um, and by the way, a lot of the religious texts, this is really what they all were saying underneath. I mean, if you look at like Jesus, right? He was saying, I and the father are one with the faith of a mustard seed. You can move a mountain, mm -hmm. you know? So what was he saying? He was saying, I am God. Right? right. And that's, that's like, you know, and of course they even put him on trial. The last thing on trial, when they put him, the last thing when he was going before, you know, the, the court of the time, he said, but you know, they're like, we're going to kill you because you say you're God. Yeah. And he said, well, isn't it written in the old Testament? Yeah. Ye are gods. Yeah. Right. That was his last line of defense. And really all I'm saying is that very thing. And I'm not saying I'm special. I'm saying we're all special exactly. because there's only one of us. Mm -hmm. And you start, playing with that that's when you know i always say to people just li just play with this concept with an open mind and see for yourself but yeah. buckle up your seatbelt because that's when the magic starts, <laughs> that's when the magic start starts happening what? yeah what just happened the synchronicities that start happening the yes. the i mean a lot of people that i have on my show of course as you know i dive deep down this rabbit hole with my guests and interviews yeah. soul shares as i call oh, them yeah. Yeah. People, you know, these are brilliant physicists and scientists and authors and, you know, uh, consciousness change makers and luminaries who yeah. are having profound experience. They've opened up to this idea, started playing with it, applying it to their life, and they're having all kinds of experiences wow. beyond, you know, with multidimensional energies and, and entities. And, 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 yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it opens up a can of worms only when you're ready, though. Right. Like, there is no right or wrong. The person who is still completely detached for this and, a, and asleep to this and is experiencing their life, maybe even a hardship or whatever, the soul needs that experience because mm -hmm. you can't know that which you are, which is love, source, high, higher self, consciousness, there's all kind of energy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You can't know love without the opposite. Exactly. You can't know light without dark. You can't know up without down. So what 
sort of what we're doing here is we're we're God godding. This is how God experiences herself. Exactly. It it, it chooses to to give itself amnesia, forget who and what it is. Mm -hmm deposit itself into a virtual reality right. hologram and so i wasn't created when i was born when you were born all those years right. ago you weren't created at that time you uh you essentially uh were born into this dimension of reality and you gave yourself amnesia on purpose mm -hmm. so that you could have the experience if you remembered it all completely it would blow it out of the water yeah. it's like there was no so drama back. you are so right he is articulating what we think yes exactly yeah. Brandon, did you ever have a time where you yourself felt not worthy? You have all these wonderful guests uh, that you just spoke about. Mm -hmm. Did you ever feel like, well, am I good enough? Am I worthy? Or did you? You know, that's a great question. And one of the things I, I feel like I came into this life with, was, was blessed with, was a certain level of self-confidence mm -hmm. that I think I've struggled with less than the average person. Now, of course, like anyone, I've had my moments of, you know, um, self-deprecation or doubt but um, what I what I, the way I see it is if, if something like even doing video like I'm going from a podcast as you guys right, know right, to my yeah. a late night style talk show TV style show That's gonna all be talking about this sort of subject but you know with um, live music at the end and the same thing like you do with the traditional late show um, uh, with the twist and, uh, you know, that's a big jump for me from being the comfort of behind my microphone, right? Yeah, I can yeah. wear, like, my pajamas, my underwear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing it already. <laughs> and thanks to you guys, right? And um, so, so what I say with those sorts of things, with anything, is if it scares you and it excites you, you know that's a growth edge for you. Mm -hmm. That's a path for you. You know, yeah. fear, for F-E-A-R, forget everything and run, or face everything and rise, right? Or, right? You have to everything have to... and run. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> or, more false evidence it's appearing real. real. I like that one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so it, it's really interesting even into, um, you know, our languaging and words and the, the meanings that are encoded, even the roots of a lot of things, what they're telling you. Mm -hmm. It's all reflections. And when you start looking at the, you know, what makes humans so special is our, our, our ability to perceive patterns and what, I talk a lot about on the show, as you know, is synchronicity, which mm -hmm. is this idea that, you know, um, it's sort of like meaningful coincidence, mm -hmm. I think as Carl Jung uh, referred it. to it. So you have to start, well, that's a big sign uh, or a, a stopping off point. It never stops. But when you first start having your own awakening to some of these concepts, mm -hmm. you'll start having synchronicities where you're talking about something or thinking about something, then it'll come up through another way. Yeah, you think and, of somebody and they call you. Yeah, yeah, like, well, yeah, like, right, what? right. And then you start, uh, you know, yeah, you're 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 talking about something, and then it appears on the license plate in front of you, and then yeah. someone else calls you and asks you about the same thing. And sometimes there'll be these multi-layered synchronicities where you're just like, wow. And you think this is part of the awakening? It's part of the awakening process. It's sort of like a wink from the universe that. Mm -hmm okay, you're, you're ready to see more. Yeah. Uh, you, you're, you're at the point where you can handle it. It's not going to freak you out completely. And you start to realize it's a benevolent universe. It wants you, mm -hmm. it, you're so infinitely loved when you get yeah. that, like, like, you can't lose um, it unless you want drama and fear and well, that's and, and that's your story. And, and that's, then you bring that. It's a part of it. Yeah. It's a yeah. stopping off point. You can't know that what you are unless you know that what you're not. The question always is. What part of it all do you want to experience next? That's always the question. There's yeah. a person out there right now who's going through horribly painful things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you start understanding though that they're an infinite being that ultimately can't be harmed, mm -hmm. right? You can you can experience temporary pain in this life or whatever. But you know what? A lot of people are seeing who go down this path is they start having full recollection of past life experiences and experiences beyond the veil, communicating with people beyond the veil. Mm -hmm. um, so when you start understanding this is, this, we're viewing life from this, this, this little life when really it's, it's like this. So right. now it makes sense why this negative thing, quote unquote, happened because that soul wanted that experience in order to, and that's a challenging one for, for people. Oh, I know. That's it makes a, people angry. It makes people angry, and I understand yeah. it. I understand yeah. that that's, I, I get it. I get that it's super challenging, yeah. the idea that there's never been a mistake and it's always been happening for you. But when you understand you're, you're an eternal being that's always been and always will be, 
and change is guaranteed. So if you don't like something, don't worry, it's going to change. A yeah. billion Earth years from now, our consciousness will exist having some experience. And right. it's actually happening simultaneously now. So that's a whole other thing. Einstein proved if you, you know, shoot me into outer space at light speed, bring me back a day later, I'm a day older and you've been dead for 100 years or something. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Interstellar. Yeah. There's some of that. They're, they're, they're on another, it's a pretty popular movie from a few years ago. They're on another planet and five minutes there is like 30 years here. Yeah. That's based off real science. Yeah. So, right. I saw Planet of the Apes when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one too. Um, so yeah, I mean, some of this stuff gets pretty heady and esoteric and, you know. Yeah. Um, and, Sometimes I'm like, oh, oh God. I uh, my mind starts to wander when I'm trying to listen to you and somebody you're still sharing with. Just if it gets like too, and I'm yeah. just like, Wait, wait, what? Pause what? that. <laughs> exactly. Give me a minute, man. Rewind, rewind. And I get very excited about it, as you guys can see. I love so, it. I love it. Um, but, you know, it's it's what I feel called to do, which is to help more people wake up and remember. Because there's a lot of people out there suffering because they, they don't, they're still asleep. Mm -hmm. And and here's the thing is, that's perfect from the, th there is no wrong. It's right. like I said you earlier. Get it wrong. You can't get it wrong. You cannot lose this. Yeah. So we have some people yeah. out there that are listening that are on the verge mm -hmm. and ready for the message. And we know that we have others that yep. are just I get offhand it. rejecting it. Yep. So that's yeah. wonder it's wonderful. But that's fine. I mean, and, and, that's and, and they're perfect exactly yeah. where they are too. Yeah. You, that's the thing about it. All the judgment mm -hmm. um, about you know, judgment is, is, is just not understanding from that, that, you know, let's talk about the idea of, of, of God, you know, or a source uh, that created us. It's like, it's perfect. It's never gotten anything wrong. Right. All the, you know, even the negative, all stuff, the negative it has stuff. to be here so that we can experience the positive. Yep. 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 It's all a tool. It's Con all contrast is important. And launch our desires. Yeah. Right? Launch our desires. And you start playing with that. Like, Hold on, I, yeah, now I'm one with the source that creates and animates all things, so I'm actually a fractal, a chip off the block, if mm -hmm. you will, of, you know, this ex higher, expanded version of myself. So, you know, God would be all consciousness merged to one, right? And all things simultaneously. It's the tree, it's the cat, it's the yeah. it's the rock, it's, the, it's everything. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they're seeing that, you know, everything has life force to it to some degree. I mean, even in, um, I believe it's Japan, where they talk about, you know, this idea that inanimate objects have some sort of a life force, well, right? because they are it's, it's, it's all atoms. It's all energy. Yeah. And so that it's, it's all intelligent and it's all connected. And um, like I said, when you, I get it if someone's not ready for that, but all mm -hmm. I challenge them to do is just, just, play you with know, it. play with it. Having an open, open mind, mind is it. the most important yeah. thing. All of the spiritual teachers and masters from before they were all saying this to some degree, and I think a lot of it got misconstrued. Yeah. You got people who wanted to uh, have power, so mm -hmm. then they took exactly. it and adopted it and hijacked it and said, "Okay, I'm the way to get to your yeah. source and come through me." And then yeah. I'll thank and you for saying that. So important. It's so important. And yeah. what I'm saying is the same thing that you know. The most I, I'll refer back to Jesus. He's one, he's like the Beatles of you yeah, know yeah. like <laughs> masters. But there's been lots throughout the ages actually, and. And that's all he was saying. He's saying, you know, he was, he, he didn't say worship me. He didn't say, he's, he taught love. He taught, he, he said, didn't say create, uh, create a religion and set up guard posts yeah, for the entrance. He, was, yeah, yeah, he yeah. said, I am God and you'll do greater things than I and let me wash your feet. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he knew that was an extension of him. He, service is the path. You'll find the opportunity to get what you want by giving it away to another. Exactly. And that's why everyone out there who's wondering what their path is, it's going to be service related in some way, shape, or form because that's how that's how source does it. It, it okay. serves itself. You're on a you're on a good path here. We, we talk about. I grew up in scarcity mm -hmm. in, a, in a vortex of drama and mm -hmm. need and mm -hmm. dysfunction. Let's talk about what I learned about uh, mostly when I started experiencing life with you. I learned to be more positive and I learned about abundance versus scarcity mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that other people have stuff that I mm -hmm. want so I have less or how mm -hmm. am I ever going to have you, that how do you yeah there's, there's not that. enough for everybody the, the, what is what is the budget of the universe for each person yeah, yeah, yeah. so this is this is a big one um so when you start playing with the idea and tapping into the idea that you're one with the creator 
a, 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 a fractal, a chip off the block, if you will, of the creator that created all things. That's, think of the abundance of that. Now, the creator, and you have amnesia to, you know, the way I view it is you actually helped to design and build this place. Mm -hmm. The same way when you go to sleep at night and the bear's chasing you through the woods and you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I was scared. I thought I was about to get attacked by a bear. I forgot I was laying here in bed. I had amnesia to that. Yeah. That's what's happening here in, We're in 3D reality. You're remembering <laughs> now. Hold on. I'm actually in the dream now. I'm the dreamer in the dream to rolled into one. I created this place. <laughs> and now let's start playing with those, the, the idea. Let's play with that as an idea. Okay, if I'm one with the, the abundance that created not only this planet, the whole cosmos, that's how abundant it is, mm -hmm. let's see what I can do with that. And, and that's what I started playing with years back. I went from my friend's couch to an Inc. 500 fastest growing private company in the U.S., achieving what one in 10 million entrepreneurs set out to do with, with no resources, no, I mean, living on my friend's couch, because I, wow. I started playing with this energy and idea. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, so what happens is the universe reacts to what you believe you know that's why jesus said if with the faith of a mustard seed you can move a mountain by right? just by just allowing allowing I, mm -hmm. so i'm telling the story i am so worthy i'm one with the abundance that created everything mm -hmm. it's me and it's and i'm it and now i want to use the energy i'm calling more of it in to only help my brothers and sisters to remember that they're that abundant yes. too and uh make me an you know as saint francis of azizi a few hundred years ago said, make me an instrument of thy peace. Yeah. Once you start understanding that, you know, um, this is the path to, to, as I wake myself up, the only thing to do is to do things like this. How, how do I help wake you up? Because if you're hurting, an extension of me is hurting. If you're still yeah. asleep, I, I know and respect and understand that that's a part of your journey. And if you stay there, that's as perfect as waking up. There is, you can't get it wrong. But if you can help them to but wake up, can, then they can... And, and, it, and if they're ready, yeah. they'll attract this yes. message into their life. That's right. Like anyone out there, if you're seeing or hearing this, and this is all new to you, you're ready for this, or yeah. you wouldn't have attracted it in. Yeah. That's how it works. And you wouldn't have listened in this far. Right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's how it works. And you start living your life as if that, everything that's showing up, and it's that guy who did this thing to me, it, he's just a prop in your movie. He's, you were talking about the guy who challenged you yesterday. I, I told Brandon a story of a man at Randy's Donuts, the, the iconic giant donut in L.A. Mm -hmm. And I stepped up in line and said, are you in line, sir? And he got just very angry mm -hmm. because it was a stupid, stupid question. question. <laughs> <laughs> and I was shocked. And I, yeah. I thought, what a story. But it, yeah. it all It, it, it all triggered something together. in you, right? Yes. yes. And yes. so you then reacted, which, so, yeah. you know, as Mother Teresa talked about, she goes, you know, it's never between you and them anyway. You know, if someone is unkind, be kind anyway. Mm -hmm. If someone is angry, be loving anyway. If, you know, it's, it's never between you and them. They're a prop in your movie, you know, helping you to sharpen your axe. And I was yeah. not kind. And I, I'm, I still need to learn and I want to go there. Yeah. I want to experience that to be able to react. Yeah. With Guess kindness. what? The universe will give you a chance again. You can't. <laughs> How many of you out there have had the same situation cycle again? Hmm, five years later, the he's got a different beard this time, or <laughs> she's got a different haircut, but yep. it's the same energy it's coming same back energy. around. Hmm. Yep. So the way it's designed is it keeps giving you what you need until you yep. get the lesson. What I'm talking about here is the perspective that helps you to get the lesson to, to, to pass and then you get to level up. And as you level up, more is shown to you. And then as more is shown to you, the more you can call in, the more you can handle. It's, it's, it's a game that you designed that you don't recall that you're ready to remember exactly. and start playing it from a different vantage point. Yeah. And it gets really, really we fun. We wrote the code. We just don't know where all the little yep. things are that we I, go. I, am <laughs> I do react with kindness some sometimes to negativity and doesn't yeah. it feel good it does. when you it when so you're like powerful. i did it i did it uh, me I, as you yes, guys can see i'm pretty you know it's excitable <laughs> and so that fieriness can sometimes turn like ah, you know yeah. and so when i see now like something that would have triggered me like crazy yeah. you know uh years in the past i'm like i feel so good it's like yeah. thank you that was a gift yeah. i left with that man's negativity on my shoulders and in yeah. my heart because yeah. i i I went into the anger with him, and we 
flamed at each other, and I walked away instead of feeling powerful and like, yeah, I showed him, I beat him. You were drained. I walked away with his negative energy. Mm -hmm. And I knew that, I know the whole thing going yeah. into it. Sometimes I can handle it, and sometimes I can't. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, just let it go. Just let it go. And all the other people at the donut And I walked show. away. <laughs> I was like, I can't deal with this negativity. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once you, once you start understanding that your heart being open, it's not just a physical valve. It's a spiritual, energetic valve, too. So what can happen for people is most people go through their lives. If, if I smell something that my grandmother cooked when I was little and it's a great memory, my heart will yeah. energetically will blast open yes. and I'm in a really good state. If maybe, maybe the opposite, it's, uh, I had come from an abused home and they always cooked this and I smell it and all of a sudden my heart closes. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone says this, you're, you are so beautiful, your heart blasts open, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? If I say, <laughs> screw you, get, that's my donut, you know, <laughs> like then your heart can close. So once you realize the only game in town is to keep your heart blasted open no matter what. Yes. You become, instead of, if this happens, you become, most people are living their lives reactively. If this happens, right. I'm happy. If this happens, I'm sad. I'm heart open, heart closed. And well, the heart open is like when you're in alignment with your higher self, expanded self, source, God, whatever you want to call it, is when the heart is open. Then it, it's a channel, you're a channel for it, and it's, it can flow and live through you. Mm -hmm. You and the father and mother can be one in a sense, right? Yeah. And when you cut your heart off, it's like, well, it doesn't live there. So now you've, it's like, it's like taking the fuel out of the gas tank. So most people are stop starting their whole lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, heart open, oh, it's heart closed, oh, heart open. So mm -hmm. once you realize the only game in town is to have your heart blasted open, then it becomes, and you train and yourself to do phone. this, you train yourself, you yeah. just trust whatever, a master is someone who embraces whatever shows up because they know it's exactly what they need yeah. to help them to move into the next greatest and grandest version of themselves. So, okay, this guy just challenged me, but he's really just a prop in my movie happening for me, not to me. And thank you for this gift to sharpen my axe. Smooth seas never made for a skilled sailor, right? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I want to be a skilled sailor. Heart open, heart open, heart open. Now, it's just like, it's the currency. It's running through the you. Flow. And next thing you know, my whole life starts shifting in a way where instead of judging and resisting and fighting, I'm just trusting it all mm -hmm. and loving it all. Lo my favorite quote is, love is the answer. Now, what was the question? Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's true. It's so true. And so you start playing with this idea. The only game in town, the only thing... I'm going to focus on doing is opening my heart. And then so many people are trying to figure out how to change out there to get what they want. Right. But out there is a reflection of what's in here. Yep. Hey, if you want to know what you'll see tomorrow, look at what energy you're resonating with today. Mm -hmm. So it's all coming as a, as a, out there is a reflection. And it, it, that's the thing. Most people are trying to move around the, the effect when the cause, they don't realize mm -hmm. they're creating it all yep. with right. their energetics. Yep. So true. He's speaking self-evident truths that you know already. Yeah, I can't tell you anything you don't know. You know it's a matter, already. It's a matter just, of remembering what your souls. He's just bubbling them up. That's so funny that quote um, when we used to go to our religion class mm -hmm. and we'd be messing around with each other. You know, me and my friends, we weren't paying attention, and, but the teacher would call on one of us, mm -hmm. and and we would just go love. And yeah. She'd go, yep. You got it right. <laughs> that was all. easy. That's all we had to say, and she would go go off on her, you know, yeah, yeah. tangent. We get out of it and mess around with each other. <laughs> I love but, yeah, it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it's challenging sometimes. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's this game it's that we're all playing. It's not for the faint of heart. No. We are cutting edge. You know, what a lot of people who I, I talk, I, I have the pleasure on my show to talk to a lot of people who've had like. You know, like example, Dr. Mm -hmm. Evan Alexander, he was one that um, Oprah had on because he was, he got very, a lot of attention. He wrote um, a book, um, oh, what's the name of it? I'm going blank on it at the Did moment. Did he have a near death? Experience? Yeah, he had a near death experience. He was a Harvard neurosurgeon Ooh. who, he, you know, a brain specialist. What do you know? The universe uh, served up for him a like a rare form of meningitis that he went from one day being healthy to the next brain eating, eating alive in a coma, seven days under, uh, the, the doctor said, you know what? His brain is fried. You know, his neocortex that would have called caused hallucinations completely eaten alive. So like devastated, pull the plug family. Sorry, he's gone. 
They pull the plug. He miraculously comes back. All he remembers when he, during his time on the other side at first is his experience being shown behind the veil oh, of yeah. what's really going on. Yeah. And uh, he basically, you know, that's the beautiful thing is a lot of people have near-death experiences or through meditation or breath work or using a plant medicine. There's all kinds of ways that you can access these the, this information, yeah. um, you know, beyond hearing someone talk about it, like have experiences where it's shown to you in very visceral, vivid, realer than this yeah. <laughs> kind of uh, circumstances. In his case, he, he was shown a lot of this. And, you know, one of the things he, he talked about is, you know, those that uh, are the villains in your story oftentimes are your biggest ally on the other side. Mm -hmm. And they love you so much that they, they sign up to play a role yeah. playing something where they have to lower their vibration to do this ugly thing so you can have the experience to be yeah. love yeah. in the face of it. And that's like, it's, wow. it's that's beautiful. One, one of my favorite books is uh, a children's book called The Little Soul in the Sun. Oh, I highly I recommend read it. That it talks about this. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. It tells that story essentially, yeah. you know. It's like it's all happening for love, you, mm -hmm. you, you know, and um, it's a game changer when you yeah. understand that. Yes, you well. should read that book. It's such a good book. And then there's Conversations with God, the, the author wrote the more right the adult now. version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, we it's read that when we were out here. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good first Wonderful. First I love, book. love those books. Yeah. yeah, it really, really helps to shift your perspective to understand the ultimate nature of reality. And it's, it's like... It's like you're the prince and princess waking up in the castle once you yeah. understand this. Oh, it's all me. It's all happening for me. And now I can create my life totally different than I did before. And thank God for all that hard stuff because now I have the perspective to actually appreciate this. Because if you eat, you know, bonbons for eternity and <laughs> everyone, you know, it becomes boring, right? Yeah. If you have, Contrast. you've never seen a painting, that painting, right? Look at all the shadow in it. Yeah. If there wasn't shadow in it, you couldn't see the light of the beautiful light of yep. it, right? And that's the thing. Once you start understanding, you the shadow is a gift. Yeah. Then you can stop resenting mm -hmm. what's happened to you. You can release the trauma attached to it. You can bless it and release it and move into the next phase of your development. But go from the caterpillar to the butterfly. Right. You got to get in all the mush. It, it takes some of us <laughs> a lifetime. It does. Oh, yeah. lifetimes. Lifetime. Yeah. That's what, yes. I mean, that's another well, thing. Have I'm of them available to us. You have right. eternity. eternity. Um, you have eternity. You're an eternal being. You never get it wrong. You never get it wrong. Not getting it wrong. Wow. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I can, I can feel people getting. And I always say, message. they're just doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's what yeah. I, I mean. Yeah. That's people yeah. are based off of, their view of reality, everyone yep. is acting rationally. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. You always the guy on the street corner that's like, <laughs> who's he talking to? Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> Us judging his journey. Um, there's a book called Power Verse Force by a great, um, great guy, Dave, uh, David Hawkins. I believe he passed a decade or so ago. But he talked about the different stages of development and remembering. Mm -hmm. You know, like the guy on the corner. So at one point in your development, you would look at that guy and be like, He's crazy. get a job, you bum. Yes. Like, you know, what's wrong with you? Right. When you, when you see that soul and their experience, mm -hmm. it causes that reaction in me. At another stage in your development, you might say, oh man, I feel really sorry for yeah. them. I feel I'm really good. I'm going to get you some Del Taco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, at another stage in your development, you might say, wow, what an interesting choice your soul made yeah. this yeah. time around. You're so bold. You're a divine being who was floating in bonbons and, you know, whatever you wanted yeah. <laughs> yeah. forever. And you decided, and to, you go decided to go through yeah. this. Yeah. It's not happening to you. It's happening through you and for you. And wow, what a... And for what us a, too. What like a badass. This. Can I say badass? Yeah. <laughs> what a badass that yeah. you chose that for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I applaud you and... And this is all going to be worth it. You're, you're being the caterpillar now. What does a caterpillar do? Caterpillar is, is born. It starts, it destroys everything it sees. It eats, eats and eats and eats and eats. Yeah. It's just destructive, right? And then at some point, the caterpillar, these new cells start popping up. They call them imaginal cells. Mm -hmm. And the imaginal cells pops up and the caterpillar cell says, what is this? Kill it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's, it doesn't belong here. And they kill the imaginal cells. But then another one pops up. And then another one. Next thing you know... The imaginal cells start 
shifting the taking over. taking over they start working together mm -hmm. right next thing you know the caterpillar goes into a complete like breakdown which this is what happens for a lot of people's spiritual awakening mm -hmm. some people who think oh it's gonna be all lights and butterflies from here it's like well yeah actually <laughs> you're gonna start letting go of a lot of things that are stored that maybe have even happened in over lifetimes you're carrying the energetics of that mm -hmm. and so after a while the imaginal cells come together the caterpillar completely break breaks down goes into the chrysalis mm -hmm. it the the cat now the caterpillar cells this destructive being the energy of it dissolves into a goo that the imaginal cells feed off of all the pain and negativity that you know maybe from yeah. this this analogy this perspective that the caterpillar caused now is feeding the imaginal cells which then turn it into the butterfly that wakes yeah. up and Whoa. flies away all the fuel that that caused it was transmuted into something as beautiful as the butterfly. Yeah. there's that symbol of the butterfly in vivid detail yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i love it, I love it. yeah <laughs> Wonderful. We have a company that that's our there's symbol. A, there's the butterfly right there. Yeah. <laughs> right in the heart so center, pretty. right? Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's get a shot of that and put that in there. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. So um, I've heard because I listen to the Positive Head podcast every day Aww. that you. Every are, day? Yeah. Oh, yes. Pretty much. Well, I'll listen well, to We do five multiple, a week. Yeah, multiple episodes. I mean, he, this guy works on it every single day, except for the weekends, right? So. We got lucky. Um, I get a little good help too. Um, yeah. Friday's yeah. like fan takeover day. So, oh, right, right, you know, right. I mean, yeah. Alexa is amazing yeah. and she, she runs it. Yeah. So, but you're getting ready to move. You're moving into a really cool pad mm. in Venice Beach. Mm -hmm. And just maybe tell us a little bit about the show that yeah. you have and the retreat. So, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> as you know, uh, you know, you've been listening. I've been doing the Positive Head podcast for about four years. And mm -hmm. if you guys ever want to tune in, Anywhere that there's podcasts, you know, um, there's stuff. apps, there's SoundCloud, there's Spotify, mm -hmm. there's PositiveHead. Learn how to do this if you haven't already. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's positive. yeah. If you have an iPhone, you already have a podcast app built in. Yeah. But uh, you know, Google Play, all, all of them. But um, um, PositiveHead.com. There's actually a really fun talking about co-creating synchronicity oh, yes. and magic. I do this. I call it yeah, I, the game with the universe, the yep. Y O universe, and I always tell people choose. Like even now, choose the first number that pops into your head, one to 890. Without consciously thinking, just what number comes to your head. Now I would say that's a message from your higher self to listen to that episode of the Positive Head Podcast and there will be some nugget of wisdom in that episode for you. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. so it's a fun it's so way true. to co-create. It it's crazy. Your higher self knows everything I've ever said because yeah. it's all recorded. It's all happened. Like, um, and so, yeah, I like to create playful ways for people to interact with it's the show fun. like that. That's really fun. But, um, yeah, so I've been doing the podcast almost four years and it's time to graduate into video like you yeah, guys have yeah. done so well at. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, so, um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a new show called Optimistic, mm -hmm. spelled M-Y-S-T-I-C. I like plays on words. Yeah. You listen, yeah, you know. Yeah, I love it. Um, I love so uh, Optimistic is going to be um, basically like a late night style talk show, mm -hmm. kind of like you were, we're used to, but in a in a in Venice Beach at uh, a new property that I'm moving into called the Mystic. Ma we're calling the Mystic Manor, and it's going to be a little more cozy, intimate uh, sort of. Uh, vibey gathering and people that come to your retreats can be on that. that's right yep so I'm, I'm really blurring the line between the fans and the show itself so there'll be 20 25 people gathered for the live taping of the show mm -hmm. and I'll you know do some of this that I'm doing now I'll bring out a, a soul share guest an interview style guest you know an author a luminary a consciousness change maker um, you know um, scientist whatever it is mm -hmm. you know uh, that who's on that week and then at some point so the fans actually get the opportunity to come and stay at the mystic manor for yeah, a full week retreat so where i'm giving them you know uh, curating some of my favorite people who are coaches and healers and you know um, energy work the energy healing we'll do family style meals that sort of thing so it's very and exciting. Uh, over the course of you June, do that. June, yes, you guys should yeah, definitely come. Totally. June totally. 2019 to June 2020 is you know over that over that um, time period we're going to have uh, a couple guests each week staying and it's a six bedroom six thousand square foot house in Venice Beach which wow. is sort of like the 
transformational hub. It's a hot spot yeah. on the planet. There's a yeah. lot of this energy of all, you know, what mm -hmm. I'm talking about here, it's like there's a whole community waking up together and yeah. co-creating in workshops and, you know, guided meditations and, you know, so many things that you can explore. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing all of that into the property, giving my guests the experience to, to, to experience some of this firsthand. And then when we actually, towards the end of their visit, um, I'm actually uh, going to have the guests come out and be with me in my interview style. Okay, hey, you know, come on out yeah. and then ask whatever questions What's or thoughts or thing yeah, you what do you want to talk about? Yeah. yeah, yeah, what did you experience here? Mm -hmm. And so, um, so yeah, it's it's going to be re and then of course people who want to just come see the live taping, they can get tickets to that as well. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, after a taping, we'll raps will have a little after party you know yeah um nice. how will it air where where that's a great question um so i the way i typically do everything in my life is um shoot ready aim start, <laughs> start <laughs> so, that's what we do so i'm going i've set the wheels in motion to film it and it, it, it the very least it's going to be on youtube here and yeah. it, you know but i, I, I yeah yeah so i don't i don't have so a need or expectation yeah, I don't have a need or expectation for it to be mainstream. There, I mean, we are in the golden age of television. It's going to be done very professionally with mm -hmm. the, you know, fancy camera crew and, you know, all the things, nice. bells and whistles. But um, but it's like everything in my life. You can have an intention. My intention and aim is for it. I, my expectation is that it's going to reach, you know, I've been really blessed with Positive Head. It's been consistently yeah. in the top five. Um, you know, podcast in, in the spirituality category on iTunes. And, oh, that's um, and that's been wonderful. And, and I expect that this show is going to reach even a broader audience, a, a lot more people. But so. if it doesn't, that's okay too. And that's how you create in your life. It's like, I don't need anything to validate me or to be, I'm, I'm enough now. Anyone listening, you're enough. Yeah. You don't ever need it to be anything other than what it your is. honest, authentic expression, like your show is, which is why you've had the success. And then the success comes as a byproduct of that authenticity. So yeah. I'm setting out to just do it and then let let synchronicity unfold, let the yeah. magic mm -hmm. unfold, see mm -hmm. what comes up. See, oh, well, I know this particular, I know someone at Netflix. I know, you know, yeah. that all bubbles up. Oh, cool. Let's turn over that rock. Yeah. Oh, it didn't happen for me. Great. This or something better because right. I know whatever's right for me will mm -hmm. always happen this or something better i love this it or she resounds better. that she yes. hears it from you so good i hear it all the time <laughs> so like, oh, this or <laughs> 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 i have someone else who used to joke me that they would go wwbd what yeah, yeah. Brandon do? <laughs> i love it Man, well, we, we so thank you for yeah. taking the time to share I all so your thoughts thank with us you, and you guys with us. and hopefully I, I feel like you'll do this again with us I, I do too. Yeah. I, I have a feeling. I feel like we're gonna go to. You are. are you gonna call You're not allowed. Durant? You're not allowed to not come visit yeah. at the very least. Yeah. Uh, the Mystic Manor. Mystic Manor. So I, yeah, it's I gonna. Ranch. I'm just gonna pull in, like I said, all these magical people and give. You know, oh, it's so gonna be a mix of people who are deeply immersed in this world with people who are just getting exposed to it. And yeah. Like, ooh, let's put all these things in the pot and see what like magic <laughs> unfolds. You know? Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Okay. So, so um, in I guess in closing. Is there any little mm. special nugget Ooh. that you may think of that you haven't shared yet? That special you nugget. You, um, wanna... you know, what bubbles up for me now is there's so many of you out there listening that there's this idea that, you know, even hearing this, like, oh, well, I can't. I said it earlier, and I just want to reiterate it. It's like, you are enough. You are it. It is you. You are yeah. one with the source that creates and animates all things. You've had amnesia to that knowledge, that wisdom, that information, and now you're ready to remember, re-member, as yep. you said, yep. come back together. It's all one, it's all an extension of you, it's all happening for you. You've, you've come this far, you wouldn't have attracted this message in if you weren't ready to remember. Yes. And yes. that's the beautiful thing. And, and, and it, I know it's challenging for some of you and I get it and I honor your journey if you're like, he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, <laughs> no way, got it. It's a Much practice. love, right. Yeah, I, I just say explore it with an open mind and heart yep. and see for yourself. And if you do that, buckle up your seatbelt. Because yep. <laughs> so you will be shown that yep. this is what's going Everything on. Everything lines up. It's, you just kind of, you don't want, want, want. You just kind of desire something. Put it out there and let it go. Yep. Don't think about yep. it. 
it's going to work out or it's not going to work out. And if that doesn't work out, something better. It, it's always perfect. It's like, yep. you know, you it, it's going in from a flow state. Your life becomes a flow state. Yeah. Instead of a lot of us are swimming upstream yep. against the current, like fighting for our lives. This guy did this wrong and this is bad. Yep. And I should have this and this. And instead you just like let all that shit go. And you, you go into the flow of your life and you get carried down the stream. And then it, it, you, you start just trust and you expect goodness yep. because you deserve goodness, because you love yourself, because you're so worthy. All is well. All is well. well. You are loved. Begin your own Consciousness expansion now. Shoot, ready, aim. aim. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I'm I gonna love use it. that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I think this has yeah. been wonderful. Thank yeah, you both thank so, you much so much You're for letting so me awesome. practice in front of the camera a little bit. Yeah. Like this is wonderful. I oh, you want me to turn it on? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Let's get started. <laughs> we were just practicing. <laughs> All right. so, well, thank you, everybody. Yeah. We, thanks we, for watching. Hope that this has I been. Hope you enjoyed this. Enlightening. Yeah. Enjoyable our visit with Brandon today. Yeah. And we promise we'll come back. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> <laughs>